Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here. This is going to be tutorial four in the Lua series, where we're going to be going over how to set up teams, as well as add more Lua files to your game mode. And we're also going to be going over a bunch of unfamiliar commands and whatnot, but thankfully we have gmod.wiki. All right. So let's start up with setting up your teams. So we have a command right here in the shared.lua called team.setup and make sure to make this hue in uppercase, very important. And our zero of team is going to have the team name, which is the second argument of this command, called red. The third argument here will be the color of the team, which is in uppercase C. And the red team is going to have 255 red, zero green, and zero blue to make the color red. So we're going to control D and we'll duplicate that line. And we're going to put one instead of the zero to indicate team number one, which is going to be named blue, and its team color will be zero red, zero green, and 255 blue. So if you need more insight on this, it's on the wiki. I recommend looking at any of these commands you don't recognize as the tutorial, tutorial goes along, and that will really help you understand the tutorial. All right? All right. So in order to further this, we're going to actually have to set up a new file. So let's go into here, and this is the game modes, my game mode, game mode folder. And we're going to add a new text document. We're going to call it team setup.lua. Alright, so let's drag that up here. And to incorporate it or get the user to download it, we're going to have to put team setup.lua right here and also we're going to have to include it in here so that team setup.lua executes in init.lua all right so let's save that now the first thing you want to put here is a local variable now local variables for those who don't know can only be seen within this file right here okay so they're not going to be able to be seen over here whatever so our local variable is going to be called play which stands for player and we're going to use a command called find meta table which is going to look for meta table player all right so that's going to identify play as an actual type player of type player all right and then we're going to be getting into tables now tables are not complicated it's going to be a local variable as well so only seen within this file and we're going to leave it blank right here. Now normally if you don't know what a table is, it's an assortment of different values. So we can have six values here. This would be table slot 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we can have strings instead of numbers. Or we can have strings and numbers. Or we can have variables, including the strings and the numbers. So, Or we can actually have tables inside of this table which is what we're going to do. So we're going to say that teams 0, so the first slot in this table teams, as indicated by here, is going to be another table. So see we have a table within a table. Okay. So we're going to press enter and tab and we're going to say name is equal to red. Alright, so that's going to follow along with share.lua because our zeroth um, team is the red team, which has a color 255, blah, 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 blah. All right, so now we're going to set a color, which is going to be vector red, which is going to be 100%. And we're going to have 0% green and 0% blue. All right, and also, we can also set a set of weapons, which I'm going to be getting into in the next tutorial video. So we're going to leave that empty, but that's going to be a table within a table within another table. All right. So let's control D and we'll duplicate all this and save some time. And now our team number one is going to be the blue team, which is going to have 0% red, 0% green and 100% blue okay and it's also going to have a set of weapons 
Now, we're going to set up a function here. And the function is going to be a custom function. It's not going to be something which has been pre-made like the uh, game mode hooks and all that stuff that we went into last video. And here, we're going to have a function called setup team. And it's going to have the argument n. So we're going to end that function. And now we're going to do a check. Notice that we only have two different teams. We have team 0 and team 1. So we want to make an if statement, which is to say if whatever condition in these parentheses is met, then return n. So what's going on here is it's saying if this n is a value of negative, uh, some negative number or some number that's greater than 1, it will say, it'll recognize that teams is not, or that team is not within this table set. And this will return a 1, which will trigger this if statement, and return nothing. So it, if the team is 2 or higher, it's going to do nothing, or this function will do nothing. However, if it is 0 or 1, then the rest of the code of this function will be executed. All right. So we're going to put another foreign thing right here is self. Now self refers to this, which refers to the player. So we're saying that the player's team with the set team command is going to be team n, which is a 0 or a 1. All right. So it's either red team or blue team. OK. And then the next thing we're going to say is self. We're going to set the player's color. So we're going to have teams n dot color. Now, what this does is it's going to set the color of the player to whatever team n is. So if it's team 0, if n is equal to 0 in this execution, then it's going to take the team right here, this table, and it's going to take the color of this table. Now, if it was team 1, it would take this color instead. So see, we're taking the color from the table, OK? And that's why we give names to these values. It could just be blue, vector, weapons, but it makes it a lot easier to give a name. So anyway, let's continue on. So now we can do some fun things here. We can set the health. So let's say we want to set the health of our player to 150 just to see that it works. And we can also set the max health as well to 200. So say we can heal to 200. But we start with 150. And uh, we can also set the walk speed. And let's say we want to set it really slow just to see that it works. And we'll also set the run speed when we press shift in game, if that's the key that you have assigned to it. We'll set it to something ridiculously fast, like 1,000, just to show that it works. Now also, we're going to be setting the model. So let's say we want to set it to a citizen from Half-Life, a male citizen. So let's say models slash player slash group 03m male underscore zero. And you remember concatenation from last video. Well, there's actually nine different models. So let's say we want a random model. Like we could just say 09.mdl like that to get the ninth model. But let's say we want one of the random ones uh, from z uh, 1 through 9. So what we would do is we'd concatenate and we'd do math.random. All right. So that's going to do a math command, which is represented by here, the math library. And it's going to get the random command from the math library. And we're going to take a random value from 0 to 9. And we're going to add it on to the string. So it'd be or 1 through 9, not 0 to 9. So it'd either be 0, 1, or it could be 0, 9, or 0, 6, 0, 5, or whatever. All right. And then we're going to end it with dot .mdl. So essentially, it's like saying 0, 9, 0, 1, just like that. OK? So it's less confusing. And all right, that's going to be everything for team setup or setup team. Now, what's interesting is because we 
actually included team setup right here, that means that we can run this custom function in init.lua so we can use players team set or setup team right here. So instead of you have spawned, let's put play setup team and we can put a zero to indicate the red team or a one to indicate the blue team. Or we can do math.random and have fun with this and do a random value between zero and one. So choose which team we are. All right. So every time we spawn, it's going to set up a team. It's going to execute this function and it's going to make all this stuff happen. All right. So let's test this in game. So the server is now up and notice in the bottom left hand corner, I have 150 health and I'm walking at a really slow speed. This is at 100 units. Now if I run, I'm running 10 times the speed. So our set run and set walk works properly. I am now a medic. I thought I was a citizen, but apparently a medic. All right. Now, what if I die? What happens? Notice in the top right corner, I'm on the red team. All right. And let's go check what my model is this time. So it shouldn't be the same model because I spawned again and it called the function over again, like uh, right here. It's see it triggers every time I spawn. So let's see. And now I'm this model. All right. Nice looking good and now notice in the top right corner I'm the blue team so as you can see this math function is randomly selecting the teams properly it's selecting between the red and the blue and also these colors are getting triggered properly and all this works this works and everything looks good so that's going to conclude the tutorial I hope you learned something and I'll be going over weapons in the next tutorial and I'll see you then.